Live from the RX Muscle Studios, this is the Heavy Muscle Show. With your hosts, Dave Palumbo. Featuring the Whack Pack. Jimmy Palaccia. Mr. K. Diego B. Jeff the Producer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode. It is Wednesday, April 6, 2011, and we are here at the RX Muscle Studios in Westbury, New York. We have a very special show for you tonight. We open the doors to the public. Uh, last time we did that, we got one person, Morty, from upstate New York. Today, we have two people here today in the studios, as well as Aaron and Jubaka Singerman and PJ Braun joining us as well, as well as a special guest we're going to get to a little later. Uh, for now, I want to say welcome, Aaron Jubaka Singerman. Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure to be uh, back in New York, and uh, I'm looking forward to my trip. Now, did you come in for pa- the Passover holidays? No, Passover isn't for, uh, what, another two weeks or so, I think. Uh, so I'm here early. I- I'll celebrate Passover early. We do have the uh, the wine here. And, uh, now, we have wine, but I understand before we drink the wine, we have to do a, a blessing over it. Isn't that true? Yes, and um, Morty was so kind to bring me a yarmulke. And well, I get actually, Morty over here. Morty, come over here for a second, because you drove in all the way from upstate New York again. Yes, I came right. to see my Hi. buddy Adam. everybody. <laughs> You're dieting again. Well, That's you're right. dieting. Yep. You weren't dieting last night. Dieting. Yep. Um, but you're on the Jewish diet. On the Jewish diet, everything kosher and uh, strict matzah. He, he tells me, you know, I'm helping with his diet. He tells me that, you know, he has to eat two ounces of, of carbs on what days again? It's on, on, on Saturday, Friday, Friday night through to, till Saturday night. I have to have three meals of carbs, two ounces. No, what do those meals consist of? Um, two ounces of carbs. Well, what, what kind of carbs? Oh, bread. Oh. has to be bread. Bread? Really? Bread. Not, well, not matzah? No, no, no. On Passover, it's matzah. And that's, uh, and that's the 18th or the 17th? And the 11th bread. Is that the Monday, mo- on a Monday night? Moni, you, you're, you're really you're yeah. worrying you're me here. You're letting us know. You got your yarmulke. You don't even know when Passover is. <laughs> no, it's, 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 ne- it's ne- not next Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Now, Magnus, yeah. you're, you're, you're a Jew, aren't you? Absolutely. I'm a rabbi. You actually. said you were a rabbi for one day. I was telling my day. friends for one day I was a rabbi, and I was <laughs> telling my friends about the story, and they found it absolutely hilarious. A friend's mother of mine passed away on July That's not 4th. funny. Um, <laughs> just, uh, a friend's mother of mine passed away, and I went to a surface, and I never went to a Jewish surface before, and I loved it, and I had one with yarmulke. You brought your uh, own, or you, you no, picked I up one of them? No, I went to funeral home in Sayas. It had the uh, yarmulkes. They supplied mm-hmm. Mm. And this was right about July 4th, and I had to go to the German pork store to pick oh. up some stuff for the um, July 4th. And it was That's a not one, very compatible with well, the, uh, the Jewish it was funeral, was it? The, the, store, the store was a one-hour <laughs> wait to get, get on there. With all and the a kid goes, a kid Did you have a yarmulke on when you were in the yes, store? I did. And a kid walks up to me and goes, you and I are probably the least likely of our faith in here. And I'm like, <laughs> do I look Jewish to you? And he goes, yes! And I'm like, I'm not. And I went to another store and the meat department guy comes out and he's like, holy cow, you're wearing a yarmulke and you're not Jewish. And I was like, holy cow, this is like so cool. And then there was this rabbi at the Colts Macarpa Library, this old guy, and I told him the story and he looked at me and goes, what was your name again? And he goes, that was a cool story. I'm almost afraid to ask you, why were you dressed like a rabbi again? Because I was at my friend's funeral and I trust, you know, I have the suit on and all of that stuff and I loved the surface so much. Did and you I have said, a beard fake beard on no, no I didn't uh, have a fake beard but I just decided I, I wanted to be Jewish for the day gotcha and, and it was that, it successful it, it was awesome it did was you, you like the Jewish religion better I, than your other religion I, I love the Jewish I just love the Hebrew language right. it's just a beautiful thing and it's um, great alright I gotta say Magus is enthusiasm oh, fuck <laughs> 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 oh, Jeff, yes, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff coming through with the good oh, sound yes. yes. <laughs> wow now I want, I'm dying to drink some wine here, but I, before we do, we got to do a, a prayer. Now, you know the prayer, Aaron? Yes, I do, but uh, we're going we're gonna to do it together, right? Oh, you and Morty? Yes. Morty, do you know the prayer? Yeah. You better know the prayer. Right, right. Right. Just, just Jeff's Jeff's like Mel Brooks. He makes up his own language, but it sounds good. Yes. It sounds Jewish to me. He can speak <laughs> Spanish. He can speak uh, Hebrew. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, here we go. All right. All right, well, now that we've uh, 
officially opened up the uh, Heavy Muscle TV show here today. Thank you, Marty, for that. We'll get, bring you back a little later. We're going to make you do some posing for us. You're going to have a pose down against Pete the Intern a little later oh, in the wow. show. <laughs> uh, but for now, Aaron, uh, I want you to tell me, what do we uh, have this honor of you being in the studios uh, on this uh, auspicious weekend here. Well, uh, I came in uh, for to uh, visit uh, my friend PJ, and then obviously to uh, come to the New York NPC Metropolitans. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no other uh, side reason that you were coming here. Is there supposed to be? Am I, uh, I don't know. Usually you have an ulterior motive. No, I have no ulterior motive. Is that because you, aren't we going out on Saturday night? Of course we're going out. Uh, right. well, that, that might be one of your ulterior motives. Well, yes, I, like, that, I like that. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to it. No, we're going we're gonna to have a great time Saturday night, of course. That's a, that was. I didn't know that that was the reason I was coming down here. I just assumed that if I'm coming down here, we're going to go out gotcha. Saturday night. Let, let's, let's go right over to PJ Braun because, uh, PJ, you always have funny stories and anecdotes about Aaron. You picked him up uh -huh. at the airport. You drove out to my house. Anything, has anything happened worthy of your report? at this point uh, nothing too uh, exciting yet other than the uh, amount of food that he ordered at the diner none of it which was healthy by any means of <laughs> course. What, what did he order he ordered four cheese blintzes right uh, the sour cream and cheese I've seen him do that before yeah, I've I actually had one it was pretty good I've never had one before uh, so you have he, pictures of those, don't you? Yeah, I you do. can provide with yeah. the, the, the pictures. Of course, there's pictures. He actually wanted to order for me too, really? like right. we were on a date, like romantic. Time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna order for him. And I actually was gonna let him until right. he started rambling off his order. He got to his challah bread French toast, Ooh. and then his cheese eggs. Hey, uh, good stuff, and then that's when I said, No, nah, I'm just gonna order my own food at this point. And I understand he got a few desserts too. Yes, we got some dessert. Uh, I got a uh, cheesecake that was, was very good. absolutely delicious. I actually felt bad that I didn't get the cheesecake. It was so he good. always picks the strange. things. Thing. I want something the one unusual. Thing that I would look at and be like, strawberry shortcake. I actually got something even stranger than that. I got like a, a white cake with a key lime, a key lime pie, like middle, and then topped with coconut vanilla icing. Topped with Coke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Diet Coke, only no, Diet Coke. So, that's, so it was uneventful, is what you're yeah, saying. The real stories will happen like when we go to sleep later on tonight. You know, that's, <laughs> when the, that's when the exciting <laughs> stuff happens. When PJ goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, Aaron stays up reading till four in the morning. Well, you know uh, that? Last time he slept over uh, when he came out to visit, I told him he was never allowed back here <laughs> ever again. So why'd you let him back? Um, because uh, I, I missed him. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you, know, cute. He's, he's, uh, you guys are a cute couple. We are a cute couple. I couldn't stay away from him for too long. You guys too get too long. No reading. No more late night reading, though. I, no. I, I have to put a... Uh, yeah, he didn't like that. Just I'll keep the light on. He'll be asleep. And what do you guys have? Oh, you're in the same room, you said? No, no. 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 My, 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 uh, the way that my condo is set up, my room in is the same loft. bed, Dave. So uh, even though he's downstairs, the light shines up into the loft where I'm sleeping. He gets and annoyed. Plus, you get a freaking pair of blinders or something. He needs to just shut his light off and go to read. Because yeah. he starts reading at like 3 in the morning. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't sleep if I don't read a few chapters in my book. <laughs> what are you reading nowadays, Aaron? Uh, Anything good? Yeah, yeah. I'm reading, uh, I, I think it's. I think the name of it's Unbroken. It's a World War II. Uh, it's, it's a history of this. Uh, long distance runner. Oh, who, really? Uh, served in World War II. It's a very popular book. It's on like the Times bestseller list. It's new? Uh, yeah, it's brand new. It's brand new. What's the runner's name? name of it. I can't even remember. Not the guy who ran barefoot, huh? No, he was, one of the, he was, he was going for the record for the mile. And he got beat by the guy who won, the British guy who won the mile, who, who got the four minute mile. A oh, Roger Bannister. Right, he got beat. He was before him, and he had to go to. He went to the Olympics and, and performed in front of. He was Jewish, and he performed in front of Hitler. Really? Yeah, and uh, ran uh, ran there. And uh, was he very religious, like Modi, where you wouldn't be able to run on Saturday, like in the movie Chariots no, of no. Fire? You know what? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Remember that movie? That yes, was a great yes, movie. I do remember the movie? What was the guy's name? Does anyone who can come up with that name? There's there's a real. Uh, I, know the, I know the British guy. What's the British guy's name? Eric is that his name? You're reading I, the book about him. No, that's not the name of the guy. It's a, it's a, it's an Italian last name. Oh, I, I don't remember the last name. So, so, but he wouldn't run on. He's a Jew from Italian, Italy. No, you know, I'm getting mixed up. He's not. He's not Jewish. You sure you're reading yeah. this book? Yes, I swear. <laughs> I just got it. I just got it. I just started. Hey, I, I know my books on Kindle. So story. story. Hey, Aaron, yeah. I'm just curious. Is the name of the book Ghost Runners? No, that's no? not. That's not. It, because I figured they were they were dead after they ran for Hitler. No, right? no, no. no.
Hello, my name is Jack Olock, CEO and Chief Scientific Officer of VPX Redline. I designed Redline Ultra Hardcore with a dual action micro tab and liquid delivery system. This makes Redline Ultra Hardcore the fastest acting, longest lasting, strongest stacking fat in the history of sports nutrition. First, micronized particles within the liquid phase of the delivery system enter the body within seconds. Then the black and blue microtabs bypass the destructive acidic environment of the stomach. They then enter the alkaline environment of the intestines where they burst open the meat's potent active ingredients into the system. Amazingly, the black and blue microtabs release steadily into the body for up to three hours. Redline Ultra Hardcore's proven steady state release of actives starts to work in 45 seconds and last up to several hours. This is hardcore, scientific, cutting edge technology. This is the most advanced tri action, dual micro tab, and liquid delivery system in the history of sports nutrition. Because you want to burn fat fast, I made Redline Ultra Hardcore. You are hardcore. That's why you need VPX Redline Ultra Hardcore, the most technologically advanced fat burning delivery system ever created. Get yours today nationwide at GNC, Bodybuilding.com, and VPXSports.com. to its logical conclusion in the form of unique supplements that strictly adhere to the core nutritional principles of Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. Visit SpeciesNutrition.com to purchase the next generation of high-quality supplements available today that fully adhere to the theory of natural selection which insists that only the fit survive. SpeciesNutrition.com Life is pain. Life is dedication. Life is pressure. Life is P28. This is the Heavy Muscle Show. Your host, Steve Palumbo. Hey, this is the game Triple H from the WWE. You're watching RxMuscle.com, the truth in bodybuilding. I heard, of, I heard a, a mouse running around the room. You know we have mice in here, but I looked over yeah, and I, I saw Diego B. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm here. <laughs> Hello, Diego B. Yes. You want to come say hi? Hello. Taking his time, he's got the cool Hello, everybody. Cool cool I told you, hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, I am. It's me, Punch, Diego Sancho B. Panza. <laughs> it's like family, How are you? How you doing, Diego? Good. You're not. You dressed up like you were going to go out, like you were last week. Ah, uh, because I'm not going to go out. You're not. No. I thought the uh, the lounge night today. He already got his bitches. He don't need no more. No, tonight it's movie night. Wow. Movie night. You told me Wednesday is lounge night. That was last week. This week's different. What do you, you got? You got to speak into the microphone. You got a living girl now. You got a new girl? No. 
Oh. No girlfriends. So who are you watching movies with? It's a tight shirt. What's tonight? <laughs> Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday night, girl. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, Diego doesn't need any more help. So get get lost. We're done with you. <laughs> what do you mean? L- let me go over to you. Uh, I still got to fill out Thursdays, every other Thursday, and maybe a Monday. Well, we have, a, we have another person who came here on our open invitation. I want to welcome Floor. Uh, What's your last name, Floor? Dikaim. <laughs> Spell it, say it again. Dikaim. D-K-I-N-E. Okay. Just want to look me up. Now, what is that? What nationality is that like? It sounds French. Um, my first name's French. The last yeah. name's kind of a hodgepodge. Okay. Floor. Now, that, the only time I've ever heard that name before was uh, in that movie Spanglish. Did you see that movie? Yeah. With uh, Adam Sandler? Yeah. Wasn't Dave, she was I like, forget after your name meant flower in French. How cool is that? <laughs> That's pretty good. You're, you're <laughs> very intelligent. I mean, I'm like, that means flower. Now, we might as well get right to it because we don't want to bring it up in Spanish. <laughs> is that what it's flower? Flower. No. Floor? <laughs> <laughs> what about French? French? It's probably the same thing, right? The floor is what he's used to right, cleaning. Let, let's get right cut to the chase. Floor, Magnus is like is like almost like orgasmic or orchiastic. Oh, I want to tell you guys why, because Floor is a very big uh, fan of the book The Great Gatsby. And we did not plan this, by the way, oh right? Oh, my God. This came out spontaneously, this correct? This is unbelievable. Uh, I did. After I talked to her. All right, quiet down for a second. Talk to me about, what's your experience with The Great Gatsby? How did you get into reading that? How many times have you read it? Um, I'm a nerd, so I've probably read it, I not that much. I probably only read it like three times. That's good. That's it. Well, you read it how many times? Well, don't even mention thousands Six, of times. 6,172. <laughs> now, let's, I want you, since she did read it three times, you have to assume she knows the book pretty well, right? Why don't you, get, I want you to give her a little test. Oh, no. just, <laughs> To see if she really did read the book. T- ask her not a question. Not too hard a question. Yeah, not too hard, but ask her something that, she, that she should know if she read the book. Okay, the... Color theme in the last two paragraphs, <laughs> similar to my Jewish friend's shirt over there, is what color? I'm going to say it's black. No. That's <laughs> <laughs> very green over there. <laughs> 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 so Don't ask her anything <laughs> esoteric yeah, that's that's real. Who fucked who? Or something like that. Very easy question. Easy question. the color theme in the chapter, the seventh chapter. Okay, how did you know? You want to switch seats with him? How did the main character die? He actually got shot. He was in his pool. Awesome. All right, she got it. Do you want to come over and feel our muscles? <laughs> I will look at her anyway. You're competing in a week, is that true? I am competing in a week. And feel our biceps, Magnus. Women's uh, physique. Oh, Magnus wants to get a little feel there. Oh wow, that is cool. Feel it. Oh, my God. Feel it. Come on, Magnus. I'm about to oh, shoot. Oh, that's a quiet low. You might have to get a restraining order when you get out of here. That's called double fisting. This is oh, double oh, fisting. She is scorchers. Let me tell you that. Oh, my God. Okay, sit down. That's a you actually look like a little bit of like a leprechaun. I think you're a little. You look like you're St. Patrick's Day out today. Oh, no, yes, no, I'm wearing no, uh, pants from Brooks Brothers. I mean, these are my chocolate <laughs> pants from Brooks Brothers. Oh, you got the Brooks Boy. What's the, what's the Jack Dave look? look? This is the Milano chocolate colored <laughs> pants. I actually like them. Very nice. That's chocolate, not brown. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a chocolate. Brooks chocolate. Brothers will say chocolate. Oh, put that up there again. Put I that knee up there. It. Put your oh, skin. really? Your skin uh, is very much like You guys, you guys <laughs> mesh very well. <laughs> we match it's a very cute couple, I have to say. <laughs> we compliment each other. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> will you, will you re- romantically read The Great Gatsby to her over a glass of wine? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> 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 Don't hump the chair. Go sit down. I know what. He's always like that. Just, oh my He's very excited. He's very excited. Let's go back. Quiet down. You're done. Let's talk about your conference. Where are you doing this women's physique division? At Junior USA is at Charleston, South Carolina. But that's not in a week. That's like in no, six it's weeks. In six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've got a figure competition coming up in 10 days. And now where's that? That's going to be at the Oakdale in Connecticut. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, um, are you moving into this woman's physique because they tell you too muscular? I'm doing it because I've always wanted to do a posing routine. <laughs> oh. Get, get, get stand up for a second. Hit, hit, a, hit a double bicep shot. Not you, Stop. <laughs> See, if you guys would have come down when I opened my open invitation, you'd be hitting double biceps on, on stay on. Uh, wow, yeah, I think she'd be good. You to see her taper from the back is amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta turn around. She has a legit 19 inch waist, for, like, no exaggeration. Lift up your shirt. You got abs? 
I might. Sure. Let's see. I'm not showing off. Let's so, see. Uh, this is a, a product of, of my uh, nutrition skills. Oh, you, you work with her? Mm-hmm. Wow, she got a <laughs> tiny, tiny waist. You're right. Holy mackerel. Oh, my God. Magnus, are <laughs> you getting turned on looking at that? Absolutely. Oh, 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 Show on rxmuscle.com.